So my name is Katie Darrington and I am with Primary Care Progress in the Colorado chapter. My name is Anthony Ocolo and I'm a second year medical student at the Sophie Davis School of Biomedical Education. My name is Carrie Nader and I'm a third year family medicine resident at the University of Colorado. Uh, I am Kriti Chaudhry. I am representing the University of Minnesota PCP chapter. Eunice Yu, and I'm a third year internal medicine resident at Johns Hopkins Bayview Medical Center. Uh, my name is David Choi, and I'm actually part of Primary Care Progress in Colorado, and at my school is the University of Colorado SCAS School of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences. Primary Care Progress is one of the few organizations in healthcare that truly understands the power of the many stakeholders in, American, in the health of the American people. Oftentimes, we really don't consider the power that students have and PCP actually utilizes that power to build on it and make primary care a bigger deal than it could be if we didn't use students at all. So what Primary Care Progress does is it takes students, gives them power and says do something great with it and we know you will and we trust you to do that and we love that as students. We want to have an impact and we want to make a difference and being a part of an organization that really believes in me as a student helps out so much as far as how I feel about my ability to become a better healthcare professional. Trainees are different in the fact that they have the opportunity and the chance, the ability to look at the healthcare system in a fresh new way that is not biased by the past 10, 15, 20, 30 years of living in the healthcare system. So they're able to just look at it in a fresh new way saying, I'm starting from scratch, what's the best way to do this? And then revolutionize and change the system to um, impact patients. Primary care progress, I think, is super important because it's not only an organization just dedicated to primary care and just innovating it, it truly believes in an interdisciplinary approach and an interdependent approach to primary care. So I think that's one of the cool things and why, that's why primary care progress has changed because it's not only asking for just physicians to change primary care, it's really asking for all professions to start changing how primary care is delivered and how we all can contribute and we can all play a role in this huge change coming. We're med students and we're already learning about the skills we need to be advocates and leaders so that when we do become primary care physicians, we can have what it takes to advocate for a larger group of people, patients and physicians alike. It really truly uh, feeds the soul. So that's something that's important in any movement. And just to be part of this, this wonderful community is, uh, is an amazing thing. It's an opportunity for us to grow it's an opportunity for us to hope for a better future, so I think that this is amazing. Primary Care Progress is unique in that it is sourced in trainees, and trainees have a new way of looking at the world and a new way of looking at the healthcare system, such that I believe that the innovation that can truly be the answer that the healthcare system needs could be found in students and in trainees.